What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope everybody's having a great day. Today I got a pretty cool video for you guys. We're going to be doing some 240 content for you. We're going to be making some 240 content for you guys today. Uh, it's been a while since I did anything on the 240. As you can see, it's right here behind me. Pulled it up into the driveway. So anyways, we got the 240 here in the driveway. As you can see, uh, it's pretty simple on the outside. All I've really done to this car is wheels and suspension things. So we're gonna be doing another mod to the 240 today. We're gonna be fixing the one thing uh, that I really hate most about this car, and that is the side mirrors. So I have these cheap eBay side mirrors on here. They faded really fast and uh, this turned yellow and the black faded super fast. On the other side here on the passenger side, the glass actually did fall out on the passenger side mirror so I can't see anything out of them now. And overall they're just really cheap quality and you know just not good mirrors. I really don't like how they look. I thought I would like how they look. I had them on my other S14 and they looked cool on there but it's just not the style I want to go with on this 240. So anyways let me grab the new mirrors for you and we'll show you what we got. So here they are. I went ahead, picked up some Ganador mirrors for the S13 uh, to go ahead and replace the crappy mirrors that I have on there now. The only thing is, these Ganadors are actually for an S14. Uh, from what I can see or read, these will fit on the S13, but I am going to need to modify some stuff on the car. I know that the bolt holes don't line up, and I might need to shave some stuff down. But anyways, let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and set up the camera. I'll show you guys how to take the door panels off and get the old mirrors out. And uh, we'll get right into it and see if I can get these Gander doors to fit on the car. So here we're at the door panel of the car. As you can see, guys, I have the crank windows. This is a base model S13. So this one's, uh, my opinion, a little bit more difficult to take off because you have to take the crank out. And there's a little clip that holds that on. But anyways, to take this out, it's super simple. We got one bolt in here. Uh, this little thing, um, I guess little plastic trim piece has to pop off. And then under this little cap, there's another screw. And then other than that, it's just held on with clips. And to take the crank off, you have a little, uh, I guess it'd be like a C-clip that you got to pop out from under here. So let me go ahead and set up the camera for you guys. And we'll get a good time lapse of me taking off the door panel. All right. So you got a flathead and a Phillips head. This should be everything you need to take off your door panel. Like I said, guys, it's the two Phillips head screws. This little uh, trim piece pops off and you gotta get the little clip behind here. So let's just get started. Hey yo. There's a little C-clip that holds on the crank and I got the crank off. It literally, all you gotta do is pop off this little C-clip, take the crank off. Don't forget about the little washer that's on here as well. So I got the trim piece here popped off. I got the screw out of the cup here, so this should pop out as well. Also got the screw out over here. So now all there is left is the clips along the bottom and it'll pop right off. And just like that, the door panel pops right off. So we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side now. Perfect, so now that we got the door panel off, the whole door is exposed. The reason why we need to take the door panel off is because this little uh, corner piece here is actually held under the door panel. There's a little uh, lip here that holds it under the door panel and all this is held in with is um, little clips. Mine aren't really held in very well because I broke them all last time I did this, <laughs> but all you gotta do is literally just pop it off like that and this can go to the side now. So now that that's off, you expose all your little screws that are holding in the mirror if uh you had the stock mirror still they would be 10 millimeter bolts i don't so these are phillips head screws all i gotta do is take these three off and the mirror will pop right off apologize for the camera angle i don't really have anything to put the camera on so i set it on the steering wheel but we're gonna go ahead and take these three screws out now just like that all three screws are out now and the mirror will pop right off make sure you don't drop this when you're taking out the last bolt because uh, it will fall. So let's go throw this in the garbage and uh, grab the Ganador and see what trimming and holes I'm have to drill to get the S14 mirror onto my S13. So let's do it. So right off the bat, just holding it to the car, it doesn't fit that bad actually. So if you want to get S14 mirrors for your S13, they will fit. Uh, the only thing that I can see is this isn't, you know, a perfect fit. So right here, this all lines up pretty nice, but once it gets down to the edge here, it kind of bows out 
and hits my A pillar, which isn't a problem because I could just literally sand this down and make it smooth and that wouldn't be an issue. When you come to the bottom here, it lines up with the window trim pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's on the window trim. There is a small gap between the bottom of the mirror and the door here where it's supposed to be touching, but it's barely any gap at all. Um, I can't even fit my finger in there, so that's not that big of a deal to me. The corner, you can see it rounds. It's not a perfect match, but once the car is painted, you won't even be able to tell. It honestly will just look like I have Ganondorf on the car and those small little things you won't even notice. But anyways, as for the holes on the inside, I'm going to go ahead and open the door now and we'll see where the holes line up at. So here on the back side, you can see these holes do not line up whatsoever. We got one hole here, we got one down there at the bottom and one over here. They're all covered by the metal of the door. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark this um, where the holes should be and drill holes in the metal of the door and literally just put some bolts on it. Um, I can already tell that this little corner down here, I'm gonna have to trim off, but honestly with some like 80 grit sandpaper, it should sand right down. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim some holes in here and see if I can bolt these mirrors up. All right, once again, apologize for the camera angle, but I got myself a Sharpie. So I'm gonna put the mirror where I want it at and start marking some holes back here where I'm gonna be drilling so I can mount the mirror. So let's do it. All right, and just like that, I got three holes marked here with the Sharpie. So let me get a drill and a drill bit. We'll drill these out and we'll test fit the mirror up. So I got a drill and a drill bit that should work. Sorry if you guys hear loud truck noise in the back. A bunch of work trucks just pulled up to my neighbor's house for some reason. Um, looks like the gas company, but I don't know. If you hear a bunch of diesel noises in the back, I apologize. Let's get straight to drilling. Definitely get a sharp drill bit if you're gonna do this, because this is gonna take forever. Uh, so I'll probably just cut the video here until I get these holes drilled through and then I'll catch up with you guys. So a quick update as the truck revs up right next to me. So a quick update, um, this drill bit is most definitely not gonna work. It is just not sharp enough at all. It's just not a good drill bit. So I'm gonna have to run to AutoZone or something really fast, see if I can get a drill bit that's sharper and made for metal. I'm pretty sure this is made for like drywall. So I'll catch up to you guys once I get a new drill bit and we can get these holes drilled. All right, so just got back from AutoZone, picked up a new set of drill bits. Hopefully these are gonna be sharp enough to get through the metal. I was going at this for like 10 minutes with the other drill bit and barely denting it, so yeah, not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera and hopefully we can uh, zoom through this. I'm gonna start with a smaller one because hopefully it'll be easier. So, grab this little one and see if I can make a, a little pilot hole, I guess. I guess what you would call it, right? goodness see that butter way easier than the other one so I'm gonna step it up a bit and uh, until I get the right size for the bolts so we got one hole drilled and uh, let's drill the other ones drilled so uh, let's go ahead and test fit the mirror and see if I can bolt it on now all right so the holes aren't perfect I'm gonna have to keep drilling um, kind of shitty situation because I drew them but none of them line up right now so I don't know all right guys so after playing with the holes for a little bit finally got it to mount on you guys can see where the stock holes are um it's honestly it's like the same exact pattern just a little bit smaller um everything's kind of just smushed closer together um so it is bolted on now it's on there the only problem that we have now is the door doesn't close because i'll show you guys this little part of the mirror where it's sticking out hits the a pillar 
before the door uh, before the door can close. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some sandpaper. I'm gonna try to shave this smooth here um, in line with the door and hopefully we can get the door to shut. All right guys, so sorry about the gap in time there, but I got the Ganador on the car finally bolted on. Um, I was having trouble fitting it because of this area. I think I told you guys uh, I needed to trim this area down. So as you can see, I trimmed it flat here and then uh, kind of rounded it back. Uh, I guess the S14 mirrors, they come this way and then out. So basically getting rid of that little corner there and it'll bolt right on. And I already showed you guys the new holes that we got drilled for it. As you can see right here, um, where the original holes were versus where the holes are now. But little modification and the S14 mirrors bolted right on. So um, obviously if you get S13 Ganadors, you won't have the fitment issues but I ended up getting a deal on some S14 Ganadors and I figured I would just see if I can get them to work. And with a little bit of time and effort, I got them to fit right on. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the door panel back on this side really quick. I'll probably make a time lapse of that. And then I'll put the other mirror onto the other side. Let me show you guys a comparison with the Ganador uh, compared to the mirrors that were on there before, much better. Uh, this style is just the best style mirror for uh, 240s and LS chassis in my opinion. Uh, I've basically wanted Ganadors since I even found out about 240s, so um, super happy got the Ganador on there. So let's do the time lapse and uh, wrap up the video. All right, and just like that, we got the passenger side on now, uh, and it's looking amazing. So we got both the driver's side and passenger side Ganadors on the car now. Uh, I love how this looks. I've always wanted Ganadors for this car, and uh, honestly, since I first got a 240 like five years ago, uh, I've always wanted Ganadors on one of my cars, and it finally happened. So I'm extremely happy that I have these on the car now, uh, and it honestly changes the look of the car so much from the outside. So it's perfect. Anyways, the real question is now, do S14 mirrors fit on an S13? And your answer is yes, kinda. So they're definitely not a direct bolt-on, but anything will fit if you get it to fit. Um, we did have to trim it right here so it can clear the A-pillar uh, and drilled our own holes on the inside in order to bolt it on. But they're definitely on there now and they're not going anywhere and it looks amazing. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure you hit the like button. Um, be sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the new mirrors. Um, and any general comments you guys want to leave, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button down there as well. It means a lot to us. We really appreciate your guys' support. Other than that, it's been nice, and we'll see you guys in the next one.